For those of you who are new, my name is Jody, and today's video is going to be about our home birth story featuring Sindel Feline. She is here just all relaxed and napping away. Her father Micah and brother Lucas are off running some work errands together, and so we decided that this would be the best time to film this story for you guys. Get her a little more comfortable. Yeah, you're so relaxed in this lanky. There we go. So she is officially six days old today. And the last six days, we have just been enjoying her. Lucas is adjusting excellent and recovering and getting on to our new schedule with her. It is so much fun. We are loving it. So to start our story, sometime after 5 a.m. on the 15th, I woke up to a contraction and decided to start timing them. I had done a lot of resting and walking the couple days prior. I think the 14th we didn't vlog, but the 13th we did. And so we were really just trying to enjoy our time with Lucas. And I had had a you know, some contractions that day that seemed like they were the type of contractions that needed to get labor going. They were just really sporadic and far apart and nothing consistent. So these ones that I woke up to definitely seemed like they were consistent because I had at least four or five that were 10 minutes apart. So sometime a little bit after six, that's when Micah decided to go ahead and wake Lucas and take him to his cousins and I messaged our midwife to let her know that they were about 10 minutes apart. So after checking in with her, I decided to take a shower really quick before Micah got back get a little relaxed, make sure that it didn't stop the contractions because sometimes taking a shower or doing movement can throw their timing off. So they still were timed at that point and we did have Lucas at home so we kind of knew what we needed to do to prepare for her arrival and I planned on helping Micah with that the same way <laughs> I did for Lucas for baby girl obviously. And when he got back I was just having a hard time even kind of getting my hair brushed at that point. They were hitting me pretty hard and in between I was nauseous. So I did have all intentions to vlog what was going on and share, you know, our birth story that way, but everything was pretty intense and I just wanted to rest in between the contractions. So sometime I think into the seven o'clock hour, maybe around 7.30ish, um, I was starting to actually fall asleep between the contractions. Then around eight, I think Micah says to me, your contractions seem kind of close together. How far apart are they now? And I told him, I haven't been timing them. You know, I'm falling asleep. Can you maybe time some of them for me? And the midwife had told me in her messages that we had kind of exchanged leading up to this that she was still planning on taking her kids to school at 8 and that was about a half hour away from where we lived and there was a little bit of miscommunication there and partly on maybe my fault and just assuming that she would be dropping them off at 8, possibly not leaving her home at 8. The contractions that Micah timed at that point were he got one at 5 and then one at 3. And that's when I was like, okay, I need to message her and let her know that they're getting closer together. Um, she'd kind of given me the option if I wanted her to just come or still take her kids. And Lucas's birth was about 3 hours and 45 minutes, and so to go between 5 to 8, that's kind of 2 hours, 3 hours, somewhere in there. Could be pushing beans if, like births normally do, they go quicker and faster. But I was like, I was confident in that I would let her know if things needed to change, but when you're kind of hitting 8, 10, she was on the road at that point and there was no turning around. So shortly after that, I think kind of pushing more 8.20, 8.30, I was starting to feel like I needed to maybe push or go to the bathroom. I couldn't decipher, but I was afraid to go to the bathroom in case things started happening. So 
Um, at that point, she was like, if you feel the need to push, you know, that's your body telling you what you need to do. Go ahead and listen to it. And if Michael wants to call me, I can walk him through everything. And so I share that with Micah and contractions kind of keep hitting me. I was really just nauseous and sweating and in pain at this point. So she sent us a message with what to do, you know, once the baby comes with the pushing and all of that. And I kind of handed it to Micah. I couldn't read it to him. I was like, you just read this. And then I laid down on my side and was like, okay, yeah, this is time to start pushing. This is the type of pain. I know this. I recognize this. Granted, she is my fourth baby. So I wanted him to start holding my leg then. I gave birth to my two girls on my back. Luca's kind of on my knees and her ended up on my side. And I have to say that was the absolute most ideal position to give birth in. For me and also since I have had babies before I kind of have an idea of what progressive pushing is and not progressive pushing and I wasn't really communicating with Micah at this point but he was still trying to read the message or respond to her and I was like you need to hold my leg again put the phone down so he kind of chucks it across the room and at that point we really just kind of got into the pushing rhythm of hold my leg okay don't hold my leg okay now you need to hold it again and I knew she was like 15 minutes away and that I could just kind of do some little pushes that would buy us time and then when she got here I'd start pushing hard harder so the second she stepped foot into our door I started giving it my all and this is one thing that I kind of wish I had maybe relate to Micah because I think he was getting a little nervous was that one my water hadn't broke so I wasn't that concerned and once my water did break that's when I'd probably want him picking up the phone getting her on speaker if she wasn't here and two I didn't really tell him hey I'm pushing but I'm only pushing to buy us time he just thought this is really happening I'm probably going to be delivering her where did things go wrong so I take the blame on that fall of just not saying, no, yeah, you should probably come. I truly thought we would be able to handle it. And plus, in my mind, I thought, you know what, if she, if she does come and they're not quite here yet, we're going to handle it. We'll be fine. So she walks in the door and I start pushing. I think it was 8.55 at that point when I heard her footsteps. And by 9.17, she had arrived. Micah caught her and it was over. It went actually extremely smooth other than what Micah was probably nervous and the extreme pain I was in. I absolutely screamed at the top of my lungs with this one. With my other babies, I don't remember screaming like that. I don't even think I did. So it seemed a lot more painful. She was my biggest baby, but only by three more ounces. Adrian was five pounds, 15 and a half ounces. Bridget was six pounds, three ounces. Lucas was seven pounds, one ounce. And she was seven pounds, four ounces. It's pretty exciting. She is here. That's really all there is to tell. Everything went smooth. It was so great having the midwives here, being at home. I don't think I can ever explain to anyone what it's like to have a home birth. For me, the biggest part is, is just getting to be right where you need to be, have your own things that you need to have afterwards, and not having an IV in my hand, because I do not do needles. And I've obviously can handle the pain of birth, even though this one was a little intense, but I also think that was also just because my body, your bodies have muscle memory, and it just, those, I think for things to progress, in that short amount of time, they just really do end up that intense. So, that's it. <laughs> this is the best, and we are so thankful she is healthy, I am healthy, and we can just enjoy her. We do plan to get back to some daily vlogs for you guys. I don't know how it's all going to go. I have been taking a little bit of footage that I will put in our next vlog, and it's just, it's busy. She eats a lot, and when she is sleeping, then either 
you know, trying to rest as well, or hang out with Lucas, or eat, or just do what we need to do. So it'll take a little bit of adjusting to balance back into a good routine with recording videos and getting them edited, because I am the one who does that. Micah just gets to be a part of them, which is great. Today is not as nice out. Sorry, I keep getting distracted with all the rain. We had a beautiful day yesterday. The boys got to play outside together some, which was great for Lucas to get out of the house. Micah has taken time off to spend with us and help with the adjusting. And he is excellent, you guys. I can't tell you how thankful I am. He was the father of our two babies, and he does so great with them. We are well loved and cared for. We're going to keep enjoying this time and getting videos up for you when we can. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you later. Bye!